Okay, welcome to class. I know I'm not there. Um, I don't think it's been expl explicitly said uh, I have to quarantine. I'm not sick myself, my wife is. So I'll be here uh, for 10 days. And uh, I've got an awesome sub that's gonna be uh, here in the classroom for the entire 10 days. So please treat the sub with respect, like a lot of it. Um, but today is gonna to be a little bit unique because you have a test. Uh, we're not gonna skip the test. We're not gonna wait for me to get back to take the test. Um, but we are gonna wait on the packets. Um, essentially, we're supposed to turn in, normally, we're supposed to turn in the packets and the test on the same day. Um, and there's a lot that goes into that back page of the packet, the front page of the packet but we're just hold on to the packets in your binder. Don't lose them. When I get back, we're gonna do the last page together and turn packets in and get those graded when I get back. So today's just the test. Um, and there's a couple things that need to be very clear before you take the test. Uh, some rules and how it works, the procedures of testing in my class, because it's a little bit different. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty strict with certain things. So, um, number one, you should not have, um, so I'm gonna write these on the board. So you should not have any loose papers. Uh, those are not going to be like allowed. So if you have your packet, it needs to be inside your binder and your binder needs to be underneath your desk. You cannot get into your binder during the test and do anything with any papers that you have in your binder. If you do not have a binder still, that is bad. You need to have a binder. If you do not have a binder still, the packet, if you brought it today, needs to go away. Um, it needs to go in your locker. It needs to go in the, um, you can turn it into the box up front as long as it is not under your desk as a loose packet of papers. You cannot have that. If you do, if you decide that you uh, don't want to obey that rule, um, I will just give you a zero instead of the score that you think you got. So make sure you don't have any loose papers. Everything goes away. The only thing you should have out on your desk is something to write with. If you don't have anything to write with, ask a neighbor if they have one, or I guess you are doing your test in color pencil. Um, number two. So no loose papers. Number two, no talking. This is kind of self-explanatory. Don't talk to people during the test. Um, if you do, I'll give you a zero. And some of you might be thinking, how's he gonna know? Like he's not even here. Uh, number one, these are things I told the sub to look for as you test and um, just write names down of anyone who didn't need them and what they did. And I'll give you a zero. Also never underestimate the power of anonymous snitching by other people in class, other neighbors, not friends usually, but other neighbors that let, let me know what you did during the test. Uh, don't talk during the test until it's all over. Three, uh, no phones. If you are caught um, looking at your phone, you get a zero and it doesn't matter what you're doing. I have, I have, <clears throat> I personally have given someone a zero and they were just looking at the time. There's a clock on the wall. You can look at the time on the clock on the wall. Uh, if you look at your phone for any reason, someone texts you, which they shouldn't be, but if you're looking at a phone, period, uh, you'll get a zero. And that's whether someone else 
stitches on you if the sub sees it don't there, there's no reason to be on your phone during a test and um, no looking at other people's papers that's kind of obvious um, I have a, a name for this that we'll get into a little bit later WED it's a stands for wandering eye disease Wandering eye disease is uh, very contagious. There's some flare-ups with the disease that usually are on test day, um, and that's bad. We don't want wandering eye disease to affect you and have you be looking at what your neighbor wrote down on their map. Um, some people have asked in the past, um, do we get to use our word banks? You will get a word bank. You will get a fresh, clean word bank um, from the sub. So you should have a pen or a pencil on your desk. You're going to get one word bank and one map test, and you're going to start testing um, at that point. When you're done, I, the instructions were to give uh, the test of the sub, and then uh, we'll do, follow the instructions after that. But I just need to make sure that you know that if these things happen, that I've instructed the sub to be vigilant about making sure these things don't happen and if they do to write things down so that I can address them when I come back, which I will, unless the vice principal addresses it for me before I get back, which is also a possibility. Um, just one last thing. Some people are like, what about the extra credit packet? I, I studied the extra credit packet and you said there was gonna be another paper that I might do. If you're doing extra credit, the extra credit packet, uh, unfortunately, you're not going to test on that today. I'm going to have you wait until I get back, um, which is good because then you have more time to study if you want, technically. Um, any questions, you can always email me um, or ask the sub. Um, I left some instructions in the, in the sub plans, but um, just make sure that you don't do these, that you do really well on the test, and that your class period gets a good report when I get back. Good luck.